Hey everybody, a uh, bit of a quick test on Cloud Room Escher. A um, friend mentioned it to me, thought I would check it out. Um, so this scene's pretty simple. It's just this cylinder here, um, kind of just arbitrary amount of sides on everything and uh, have all these booleans set up. So three booleans in the modifier stack um, and just pretty simple. Uh, and then I'm just gonna duplicate this out, uh, turn off these other ones and then I'll go to the quad remesh. Um, what I'm going to do though is uh, I'm going to use the use normal splitting. So I'm gonna set this to auto smooth and then smooth. So we get this nice smooth here. Uh, these are also using auto smooth. These other objects um, did that before. Um, so everything's using auto smooth and um, you know you can set the hard and soft angles. Um, so have that set up. Uh, I'm gonna go for 555 quads, 50% adaptive size. Uh, let's try this out. So remesh it. And then it gave us this, which uh, looks pretty cool. So now let's dive into this and see what we can do with it. So the first thing that uh, that is super cool is that we get our hard edges for us selected automatically. So I can actually just select my sharp edges now and I can apply a crease to that. So I'll do like a 0.95. Um, and then I can add a subdivision surface modifier on it. And so uh, what you can see is the creases are all holding um, this geo pretty well and it's smoothing otherwise. Um, so I could do like two subdivisions with the crease and then I can add another subdivision surface on top of it without creases. And then we get something like this, which uh, is looking pretty solid so far. Uh, then I'll just turn off auto smooth and just set it to smooth um, so we don't get those hard edges there. Um, but overall this is you know this is nice and then the cool part about with the blender creasing is I can go back in at any time um, and in this case I just have uh, I think I just have all these creases selected right now so let's just select these sharp edges I can take the crease down to like a um, you know anywhere from one doesn't look great but like anywhere from like a 0.95 all the way down to zero uh, and then also the great part about uh, working with Blender for this plugin that I see um, is I could put the mean crease to 0.95 and get a nice smoothing on everything and then uh, on a case-by-case -case basis I can just grab this geo here and you know I could set this to a 0.3 um, or I can go up and down and so I can control each um, edge by itself I could even do like half the edge creased and half the edge not um, so I can make this a little bit smoother uh, and then a transition that is something sharper. Um, doesn't look great, but it's awesome that the uh, the option is there. Uh, but overall, pretty cool plugin. Definitely need to test it out on um, some more production stuff. This is kind of a pretty simple Boolean test, but uh, these results so far are pretty promising. Uh, looking forward to hopping into it a little bit more.